true 90 degree angle to your work surface. This handy guide system allows you to drill a straight hole every time. The drill block has an ergonomic design that is comfortable in any application. The unit also features non-slip TPE pads on both sides to prevent slipping and marring on the work surface. There are center lines on all four sides of the drill block that are lined up with each hole location to help you make sure that you are positioned exactly centered on your mark. Using these as a guide, you will drill a perfect hole every time. The base of the drill block is made of a reinforced nylon and will not heat up in your hand while drilling through metal. The drill block has a solid base that allows it to be clamped for stability. The V-block channel on the underside provides versatility on many different drilling surfaces, from round to corner profiles. On the top of the bushing block, there are six holes for common drill bit sizes, 1 8 3 16 quarter inch, 5 16 3 8 and half inch. Each bushing is held to a tight tolerance and allows you to drill at a 90 degree angle to any surface. Jet is fully committed to quality, innovation and service. Each and every product is designed to empower woodworkers to do more in their craft. That's why Jet is proud to introduce the Jet Router Table, the complete router table solution. Fully customizable, it can be completely tailored to the needs of your shop. Options include a cast iron or MDF tabletop, easily transportable rolling stand, precision router lift, customizable micro adjust fence system that includes a variety of featherboard and flip stop add ons, and several dust collection configurations. To keep tolerances tighter and rigid, the heavy-duty router lift includes a four-post lift screw design with a chain drive lifting system. The above-the-table adjustments allow the operator to easily adjust and change tools for precision bit setting. Delivering a cleaner work experience, the Jet Router Table includes a dust collection system that features an enclosed dust box around the router, as well as dust collection in the fence at the point of the cut. The Jet Router Table is proudly backed by Jet's five-year warranty. Introducing the Milescraft Sand Devil family. No more struggling with traditional hand sanders or traditional sandpaper sheets. The Sand Devils come in several different sizes. The 1605, which fits your standard 3-inch by 21-inch sanding belt. The 1604, which fits your standard 2.5-inch by 14-inch sanding belt. And the 1607, which fits your 1.5-inch by 12-inch sanding belt. There is also one more model that is for the European market that we will discuss later in the video. The Sand Devil comes with an 80 grit sanding belt. Milescraft does offer replacement sanding belts for all sizes in 80 grit, 120 grit, and 150 grit. You can also use sanding belts from other manufacturers. Many of you are probably thinking, well I already have something like this made of wood and a sandpaper sheet. With your homemade sanding block, you can never truly get the sandpaper tied around the board and you're constantly having to stop sanding to readjust your hold and to ensure the sandpaper is tight. Not to mention the sandpaper can easily tear on the edges. I can personally say this is a pain. The sand doubles have a patented clever lever feature that ensures that the sanding belt is tight every time and allows you to easily change or rotate your sanding belt. When your sandpaper starts to get dirty, just open the clever lever and rotate the sanding belt until you have a clean surface. The sand doubles allow for multiple different sanding applications that one may not easily be able to accomplish with your traditional hand sander, sanding block, or even orbital sander. With two flat surfaces on the top and the bottom, you can easily remove blemishes on your flat workpiece. If you're using the 1605, you can sand a wide board with a large flat edge that is 9 inches long, allowing for a smooth, flat surface every time. The angle flat surface allows you to apply maximum pressure when doing any flat sanding. The small rounded surface is for those tight spots on molding or trim pieces. The sand doubles have a 90 degree angle on the back end for getting into those really tight corners when needing to remove burring or gluing. A hidden feature of the sand doubles is that you can offset the sanding belt from the sand double body, which allows you to get into those tight interior angles with ease. A large radius corner that allows for intricate sanding to those curved surfaces, whether it be a large crown molding, large trim pieces, or bevels of any sort. All of these sanding applications will provide a smooth, 
even surface, unlike using your hand with traditional sandpaper, which can leave pressure inconsistencies on the surface. The sand doubles are made of a durable plastic, meaning the only thing you should ever have to do is change your sanding belt. No maintenance needed. The sand doubles also extend the life of your sanding belts. Cleaning your sand belt has never been so easy with the sand doubles. Simply grab a cleaner block and rub it across your belt surface, and your belt will be like brand new again. The Lee Box Joint and Beehive Jig, model B975, is a simple, easy to use jig for making half inch and three quarter inch box joints. Before using the box joint and beehive jig, you will need to make a simple beam. The jig template, which has a half inch side and a three quarter inch side, is attached to the top of the beam. The half inch and three quarter inch side stop assemblies are attached to each side of the beam. We recommend using two pieces of 3 quarter inch MDF glued together to make the beam. A standard 2x4 with the edges squared off may also be used. Positioning ridges are located on the underside of the template. With the positioning ridges against the beam, the template is centered and the screw hole locations are marked. Location marks for side stop positioning are then added. The side stops are set in position and the screw holes are marked. A drill press or hand drill is used to drill pilot holes in the beam. The template is aligned with the pilot holes and the beam is secured in place with the provided screws. The side stop assemblies are then secured to the beam. To prevent tear out of your good material, grooves should be routed into each side of the beam. A 9 and 3 quarter inch wide piece of stock is used to aid in routing the grooves. The bit depth is set at 3 quarters of an inch. Routing is then done straight in and out of each template opening through the board and into the beam. The other end of the board is used to route the grooves in the half inch side of the beam. You now have a groove routed in each template opening. The beam and jig are ready to use. For use on a router table, handles must be added for safe operation. Housecraft Joint Mate can be used to drill matching holes on mating components for projects in several configurations quickly and easily. Rotate the drill stop until the set screw is over the outside diameter of the drill bit and then tighten the set screw. Now let's demonstrate the joint mate in use with these common dowel pin joints. To drill for a corner joint where two boards are joined along their length with one edge 90 degrees to the face of the other board, align your boards to their finished position and then mark them 1 and 2. Now clamp board 1 with the edge being joined facing up. Choose the correct drill bit that corresponds to the selected dowel pin size, then using the body of the joint mate, determine the proper depth to drill for this mating piece and adjust the depth stop. To start drilling your holes, hold the joint mate upside down and position it over the board so the self-centering posts straddle the board's edge. Then rotate the joint mate until the posts are pushed firmly against each side of the board in the desired location of the first dowel pin. Starting at one end of your board, firmly hold the joint mate, and then with the power off, insert the drill bit into the guide bushing and drill your first hole. Next, move the joint mate to the additional desired locations and repeat until all the holes have been drilled. After you've completed drilling all the holes, place the properly sized dowel pins in each hole without glue. These are going to be used to assist in positioning the guide fence for drilling holes in board 2. To drill the holes for board 2, we start by attaching the guide fence by sliding it into the dovetailed ways on either side of the joint mate's body. Then insert the guide fence knobs on both sides. With the guide fence attached, place the appropriate guide bushing over any one of the dowels on the edge of board 1. Adjust the guide fence until it rests square to the face of board 1, then tighten the guide fence knobs. This establishes the distance from the edge of the board to the dowel center. Unclamp board 1 and then place board 2 flat on your work surface with the side being joined face up. Then place board 1 on top of board 2 with the installed dowel pins pointing towards the area of the holes that will be drilled in board 2. Advance the joint mate towards board 1 until one of the dowel pins is in the same size dowel alignment slot on the body of the joint mate and the fence is resting square on the edge of joint 2. With the boards in the correct position, ensure they're properly aligned with surfaces being joined parallel to each other and securely clamp both boards in position. 
Before drilling the corresponding set of holes with the joint mate, you'll need to adjust the drill stop for the depth of board 2, including the recommended extra 1 8 of an inch to ensure you don't drill through it. Then starting at one end of your board, firmly hold the joint mate in position, and with the power off, insert the drill bit into the guide bushing and drill your first hole. Then move the joint mate to the additional desired locations and repeat until all the holes have been drilled. When all the corresponding dowel pin holes have been drilled, apply wood glue to the dowel pins and assemble your joint.